don't believe that. He know who the hottest boxer page is. Oh, I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> He's so biased, bro. That's you know that's Lay Lewis boxer. Uh, that yeah, motherfucker always talking yeah, shit. Yeah, I that told him. I said you represent Ramirez. I rep- that's all represent all Regis. Do, that's all he do. Yeah, that's all he do. So look, so now I know your opinion got to have changed somehow for the better or the worse on Ramirez. Mm-hmm. What do you think about him now that you've seen him against I, I, Hooker? Bro, I've been thinking the same thing, bro. He's a, a he's a he's a Mexican fighter that comes forward. He is strong. He's very durable. He comes 100%. He's going to be in shape every time, you know, and I know that, you know. Um, but he's wide open for a lot of shots. Hooker hit him with a lot of big shots. The thing right. is, he hook he hit hook with all the shots. You know the game of boxing for me is hit and not be hit. It's not hit and get hit back and hit and get hit back. And that's what was happening with them. Right. It was just hit, get hit back, and it was just returning. Just they just kept returning fire. Right. And for me, it's not gonna be like that. You know, I still feel the same way. It was a great performance. It was definitely a good performance for the fight, um, for boxing and boxing fans and all that type of stuff. But as far as um, I mean, I still think he can't mess with me, bro. I just. You know, like I said, to be honest, I just think I still think I'm the best, of course, and I just I, I don't have I don't have confidence that um I don't have confidence that he'll fight me. If I after after um what you heard in there? From what I, I heard in there, bro, I know what listen, this is Bob Emmer. Bob Emmer is a fucking brilliant mastermind genius promoter. He's been doing this shit since the motherfucking sixties and seventies, right? So what Bob Arum is gonna do is He's going to let Ramirez, because Ramirez is a unified champion right now, he's going to let Ramirez fight a couple of, um, a couple of little easy, um, he, not, not easy, he's going he to let him fight a couple of defenses, and then after that, he's going to, he's going to move him up and fight Crawford, because Crawford doesn't have, really have no opponents right now, you know, he's going to move him up for a big fight with Crawford, before Crawford gets too old, basically, um, and that's what I think is going to happen, so. It would be a good fight, but you don't really need Ramirez if you come out of the, out of the tournament with two belts, you can no, kind of just do I, your yeah, thing, I don't, right? I don't, you know, I, I, like I said, I do want that fight. I, I feel like Ramirez, me and Ramirez, me and Ramirez could be a fight like a Floyd and Pacquiao to where it just, fuck, it just never happened. You know what I'm saying? To where uh, um, we really, you know, we really want that fight. And then, you know, it's just, I guess it just don't, don't If happen. you win the tournament and you don't get Ramirez, would you move up to 147? Or would you see if anybody at 140 still wants some smoke? I mean, I want, I want all the belts, bro. My thing is to be a unified champion, a, a champion, unified champion, and then, um, and then you know just be undisputed so i really want all the belts that's really my goal to get all the belts but i really like i said i don't have confidence in it that it will happen i just don't think it'll happen um and if that's the case at the tournament then you know we're gonna we're gonna just look at our options and then um i guess you know maybe go up real quick maybe. before you get out of here uh crawford was here spence was here did you have any words with them too i talked to both of them i cool with both of them you know i've been on spence since the amateur days i'm real cool with crawford you know it was just um yeah i was just on some cool shit just told um spence was like man go fuck him up like you go fuck him up all his people in dallas was like man because you have to hook a lot like man you go fuck it you go fuck this dude up and shit like that and then crawford was like you know he was like yeah remember straight and all that stuff but, yeah all right, Chad. Regis Ru Ru Pro Gay, yeah, he'll be in the ring real soon. The bigger the performance from Jose Ramirez. You and Regis have been going back and forth on social media for a couple of years now. Anything you want to say to him? Look, first, I, I, I respect Regis a lot. He, you know, he's one of the best fighters in the world. Um, but I talk shit better than him. You know, I just, <laughs> it's not my fault. Uh, I don't got to fight him in the ring, but outside the ring. Fight, but the difference, I talk shit and I can fight. So I think I got a one up on you. Outside the ring, he's like. He's the fighter. You just talk. And that's outside the ring, he's like one of the opponents he fought early on, like two and 20 or something with me. He's not going to win, but. You know, he's, he makes the sport live. He's one of the reasons why that division is so hot. Between him and Jose, this win tonight, I think the 140-pound division becomes, uh, you know, a staple point in boxing, you know, moving forward. There's some very big fights to make. And, and as you saw with this one, top rank makes big fights. They'll sit down at the table. They'll figure it out. Everybody comes together. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that moment. I, I hope uh, I hope he goes into Taylor's backyard and, and, and takes, care of, takes care of business. Would you, would you give me And also, answer? also, yeah. we, of course, and Jose acknowledged that we saw a guy sneaking into Mo Hooker's corner before the fight, and Terrence may have to, down the road, pay the price when he gets in the ring uh, with uh, Jose Ramirez in one of the biggest pay-per-view fights that can be made. If, 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 if progress takes care of business overseas, 
Uh, are you guys, Bob, would you, would you make that fight happen? We, we sit down and we make the biggest fights that are possible. Now, there are, there are, there are mandatory fights that he has to do. Uh, they, WBO, WBC gave us permission to do this fight as long as we do the mandatories. We get rid of those mandatories, finish them, and then we'll do the biggest fight that's possible. So for, so for sure we got mandatories in between. Yeah. So these guys yeah, will have to take yeah. mandatories. Uh, that's what the organizations are telling us. And the fight will be big. I'll, I'll fill the Fresno State football stadium 